everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Vivian Hosseini and on this channel I talk about everything nothing motherhood lifestyle beauty and all that good stuff so today we're going to be talking about different jobs in the health system that pays other than nothing so if you're a nurse and you've been thinking of how to get your family members your friends or to encourage them to pick up a job in the health sector especially in the UK or even for a spouse then this video is for you so watch to the end don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button to get notifications of any new videos i post subsequently to my family subscribers thank you for coming back and to my new subscribers thank you for joining the family okay let's get right into this video so as we all know the healthcare system is a very beautiful and a wonderful place to work it's very friendly especially the fact that in the health system you have this joy from helping people to get better and help people to get to their dependent level after they have had their hospital stays. Not to say you don't have the downsides of when you see a patient who's dying or a patient whose prognosis is very poor and you cannot do anything about it to help them. I know as nurses, this is especially one thing that is very difficult for us. However, we find our ways to cope and I'm sure most hospitals also have welfare packages and welfare programs for their staff to help them to cope through difficult situations at work. So if any of your family members or your friends or anybody who you know is interested in working in the healthcare system, they are not a nurse, these are the jobs for them. One, portraying system. Okay, in the health system, we have a system who we call the porter. The porter systems, these are people who go about delivering things. These are like the network of the hospital. Without them, things do not go flow easily the portering system or the porters are people who move things or equipment from one ward to the other who also move patients and who also run little errands around the hospitals these people are very valuable they are used in patient moves blood collection delivery i mean name it anything that involves connecting a patient to a health worker connecting a patient to a department, connecting a patient to any form of care they need, the porters are always on standby. So the portrait, the portrait system in the hospital is a job that anyone could do, anyone who's thinking of joining the health sector. Two, we have the cleaning services. Now, like I always say in the UK, every job has dignity. There is dignity in labor in any job you do in the healthcare, especially when you are a vital part to ensuring the hospital works works properly. Now, these people are those who take care of cleaning the wards, the environment, cleaning, clearing the beans, name it. They are the one. So they ensure our environment is sparkling clean, ensure that no infections are transmitted from one patient to the other. When we have infectious cases, they come around to disinfect the rooms and all of that. So they are very vital. I mean, if we have no cleaners in the hospital, I'm sure the hospital is going to be a den filled with germs and people will just get sick from coming to the hospital. But this will ensure that our environment is safe, that our families are safe, and that the health of the patient is safe. So, the cleaning department, the housekeeping department, is one job that is a go. Another job that anyone who is wishing to come to the health sector can do is the catering department. Who loves food? I love food. I'm sure you love food also. Any food in the house, you know I'm a foodie anyway. So, those in the catering department ensure that the foods are served or they also help in the canteen department preparing sumptuous meal for you and I and for the patients to enjoy and ensuring that this food is prepared hygienically and is safe and that no one gets hot from eating any food in the hospital. So, catering department is another job anyone can do. Now let's go, get to jobs that are more health related. We have the pharmacy assistants or the pharmacy technicians. These are people who are not registered pharmacists but they work in the pharmacy department. Now, you can get these jobs by either coming to do an apprenticeship with the pharmacy department of any trust or any hospital that you're thinking of joining. So when you go there, you inquire about these programs. They're always recruiting people into the health sector, as you already know. So find out if there is any pharmacy technician roles or pharmacy, pharmacy assistant roles in your area and do well to apply. You'll be working closely with the pharmacist. 
ensuring that drugs are distributed to the patients and ensuring that flow of medicines get to the right persons and at the right time for everyone to be healthy so pharmacy assistance the also other job you can think of is the support workers support workers are people who also you can also liken them to healthcare assistants but they work mostly in care homes or they are people or who are just called support workers they help with ensuring the care of the patient is given adequately they do personal hygiene they do um um, cleaning of the patient, rolling, patient handling, name it. They are just like the health assistant role. The health assistant or the healthcare assistant are also people, are also a job which is very conversant in the UK here, which pays a lot, like I've, like I've said in my previous videos. So if you're looking to do a job that is closely knitted with nursing, even though because you don't want to be a nurse, then the healthcare assistant or the support worker will be a favorable role for you. So if you're thinking of such job, think of being a healthcare assistant or a support worker. And the job that you can think of doing in the healthcare that is also similar and no close is office assistant or ward clerks. Ward clerks are like personal secretaries or PAs of the ward. They know the runnings of the ward. They know everything, where they are, name it. And these people ensure that all the documentations on the system are saved, all the patient files and all that is safe and encoded and ensure patient privacy. The peak calls in the ward, they connect you with your family members when you're in hospital. And they also help ensure that the free flow of communication among the team in the hospital. So if you are somebody who is art related and has been thinking of something she or he could do in the health sector, then the ward clerk or the office assistants could be one that you think of. And the job similar to the ward clerk is the secretary. Now, most consultants in the hospital have personal assistants or secretaries that work in the offices or in the outpatient departments, you have secretaries who works. We also have another job role that is close to this, which is the reception. The reception just close to the ward clerk also does this job function but they could mostly work in offices that are not in the wards but are in the hospital. So if you're thinking of a job that is clerk related, then the office assistant, receptionist or the work clerk job is one that you should think of. Now, like with everything else, you have maintenance department. So if a, works, a workman who is very good with your hands, probably in painting, in gardening, carpentry, um, even tailoring all those jobs are available in the healthcare the uniforms we wear are sewn by people the shares we sit on are made by carpenters the um walls need repainting once every once in a while maintenance work are always done in our toilets and our bedrooms and all these are done by people who work in the hospital sometimes these jobs are contracted out other times they are done by those workmen who are in the hospital who are employed by the hospital in the maintenance department so do well to find out those jobs in the maintenance department in the hospitals and get paid and working in the healthcare and the job that pays in the healthcare department that is not nursing or medical related is the physician associates the physician associates is also a program run already in the uk where people work together and closely knitted with doctors however they do not have prescribing abilities just like nursing associates in the health profession also they work closely knit with the nurses however they give medications but do not do intravenous medications and are also limited in a few things the same thing with the physician associates they also work closely with the doctors. They can see patients, however, they cannot prescribe. So if you're thinking of being a doctor, but then you could not achieve that dream, maybe a physician associate is something you should think of. Yeah, go ahead and find out about the program and apply for the program and get it going. Another job that can also be done in the hospital by anybody is the IT job. So if you're an IT engineer who has been trained in IT computer systems, the hospitals or in the care homes do a lot of jobs on computers and will also lovely be happy to have you in the team we also have jobs for financial advisors 
jobs for people who have um, trainings in accounting, uh, bookkeeping, name it. Personal assistants, office assistants, secretaries, every job that you can think of think of like we know at home in nigeria we call them art related jobs or commercial jobs all these jobs can be done in the hospital or in the nhs or in the care home so if you have trainings in other jobs and you have a passion for working in the healthcare system it should be an option for you to consider also i would want to say that most jobs in the nhs run by apprenticeship programs so find out from the hospital the nhs or the care home if they are running any program of apprenticeship on any job related roles even healthcare assistants any job so apart from nursing of course and medicine or doctor or physician associates any other jobs in the hospital sometimes run by apprenticeship find out any job offers and job openings for apprenticeship and studying in the hospital and once you are mentored you taught in the hospital you grow in the job you learn on the job you become a guru on the job and you work in the healthcare and you grow in the healthcare so if you're interested in working in the healthcare department in the healthcare sector and you know a doctor you know a nurse you know a pharmacist you know a lab um, medical laboratory sciences or a biochemistry person you could get a job like as a lab technician or a lab um assistance so just like you have every assistant role in medicine in nursing in healthcare you can get all those roles in any department of the hospital above all the most hospitals and care homes run apprenticeship programs like i mentioned earlier so find out if there is any job opening that is related to your field of study or that is related to something that you love doing and see if they're running apprenticeship programs on those courses or in those departments in the hospital do well to apply fill in your person specifications and why you love the job and i'm sure you're going to get that role and get going and starting your healthcare career so these jobs pay the average minimum wage and when you grow on the job you grow as every other person growing in the ranks and the job that you love so good luck starting your job in the healthcare system and i'll see you on the other side of success if you like any part of this video, do not forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any videos from me subsequently. The notification bell is right there. You do hit the like button, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you as always. I love you all. Bye-bye.